Hi everyone. Uh, the paper that was assigned to me was titled My Vibe Vibration Based Wearable Muscle Activation Detection in High Mobility Exercises. Uh, the authors were Frank Mokaya, He Young No, Pei Young from Carnegie Mellon University, and Roland Lucas from Lucas Physical Therapy and Fitness. Uh, the paper was published in UBCOM which was held in Osaka, Japan in September 2015. Uh, as of now, it has 13 citations and 790 downloads, which I don't think is really good. But the authors have been working in similar field, like they have a published paper near title burnout in 2016. Uh, skeletal muscles are important because they are activated to generate the force needed for movement in mo most high motion sports and exercises. They are important as incorrect muscle, uh, skeletal muscle activation could lead to suboptimal performance and injuries. Uh, these muscles consist of muscle fibers, so upon contraction, those fibers move and rub with each other, creating low amplitude, relatively higher frequency mechanical vibrations, so they could be sensed. Uh, so on activation, there is energy and fre frequency bandwidth at which that muscle vibrates. Um, my vibe is, is the first accelerometer based mechanomyography sensing system. It infers muscle activation through sensing small muscle vibrations uh, that is created through skeletal muscles. Uh, there were some previous works done in this field, but most of them were either vision based or model based. The problem with vision based was that it required line of sight to the muscle. So, which are difficult for modern sport because participants are all clothed. And the problem with model based was that it was based on motion alone, which is not enough. And there has been some work done in uh, muscle sensing, like with the electromyography, but again, they were highly susceptible to noise, thus, a greatly reduction in the accuracy. Uh, my wife walked through a network of sensor nodes placed on human body in proximity of the muscle. Uh, it used a 2.0 version of Mars because it was significantly lighter in size and weight. Uh, a triple axis accelerometer was placed on each node to capture vibration and a data aggregator coordinated the sampled uh, data of other nodes and it also helped to store and transmit data wirelessly or an SD card to a back-end computing device which upon a use of suitable algorithm helped in for uh, muscle activation status uh, but there was a problem in sensing muscle activation because non-smooth or impact motion could produce low and high frequency noises along with the muscle vibration signal so to, to tackle that uh, the authors uh, used a high pass filter to cut off lower frequency signals and they chose 5 hertz to be the optimal one and for separating the high frequency outliers they utilized k extreme value analysis algorithm they said the they set the k to be a threshold so that the data points above the k is discarded at all the problem with k eva algorithm was that the k had to be optimal value for the system the optimal value was found out to be 2.5 but if the k was too large then it will mean more muscle activation data but again it will also incorporate more motion noises so there could be higher false alarm rate and if the k was too small then uh, the threshold will be so low that none of the data could ever pass that threshold so they had to be careful after that five uh, frequency domain features were extracted using discrete Fourier transform with sliding window 500 millisecond for each axis of accelerometer for each muscle. Since there were three axes, so uh, the feature matrix was of n into 15, where n was the duration of the signal uh, by window size. And for the prediction, they used a uh, decision tree classifier because it was simple and computationally less intensive. But it, since it is a supervised learning technique, they they needed a level. So for that, they used SEMG, which will, I'll be talking later on. Uh, the flow of the information could be seen as follow. So there is uh, the high pass filter pass, then KEVA, then feature extraction, and then learning. 
so the SMGA uh, also utilizes electrodes to change the muscle activity but there could be a lot of noises as told earlier so uh, they utilize they use the help of of professional physiotherapist to inspect the noise and remove them they also uh, use the expertise of the professional to select a threshold for the classification and they use the AGLR algorithm for the classification ultimately uh, the experiment was designed uh, among six participants three male three female 18 to 45 years old with maximum blood pressure of 140 to 80 so the participants were relatively fit and who exercise regularly with no recent history of lower extremity injuries uh, these things were considered because the authors were focused on the lower body exercises then a set of five my vibe sensors was placed on his skin near the center of muscle on each leg of his participant two on quadriceps is one on hamstring and calf muscles and one on leg sensor was placed on leg to avoid false alarm rate and for the SEMG it was placed on either quadriceps or calf of each leg based on the exercise then the electrodes were placed uh, as close to the myvi sensors because they wanted the both system to sense the same muscle sensors are attached using cloth tape in order to maintain hygiene and efficiency in removal sensors were uh, encoded in epoxy to make them sweat and water resistant which is good uh, they were time synchronized so that they will uh, calculate and process the same data and my vibe was compared against the high filter only system in the experiment uh, so you can see over here all the things that i've said the performance metrics were chosen to be the accuracy and precision and recall so higher the metrics higher the better the system uh, as told earlier the authors were focusing on lower extremity muscles only so they chose exercise from each of the category isometric low motion exercises uh, which was isometric leg extension repeated motion exercises which was squat and cycling high mobility high impact exercises which consisted of jumping and each exercise was performed for around two minutes so each of the exercises could be seen here uh, the isometric leg extension uh, walked the quadriceps. The quadriceps muscle activity uh, was isolated from uh, overall body motion. So it was good to know that uh, if the system could perform on an isolated muscle activity or, or not. A weight of 40% of maximum voluntary contraction force that a uh, participant could sustain was attached on the leg for the extension uh, movement and movement. A 30 second rest followed by 30 second contraction of exercise was performed so it was found out that both uh, high pass filter and my vibe perform uh, better in terms of accuracy precision and recall and it was because uh, there was no too little noise uh, because the uh, muscle activity was isolated from rest of the body movement so it may be due to that and then the squat was performed because it is a complex motion exercise and it worked quadriceps, hamstrings, and gluteus. Uh, the weight of 20% body mass for men and 12% for women was put on for a squat. And uh, at 30 beats per minute, audible metronome was maintained so that the, there was a control up and down movement during the squat among the participants so that they could uh, give a gener generally comparative result. Uh, so over here on the evaluation it was found that for high pass filter only system precision recall and accuracy was uh, relatively low compared to my vibe because that might be due to that complex motion and some noises involved uh, then the author chose cycling because it is a typical example of common cyclic and repetitive exercise and it also worked uh, quadriceps and calf the pedaling rhythm was maintained by resistance in the stationary bike so that its pedal pedaling needed only about one second. 
Cycling contains uh, initial noise due to the rubbing of skin or clothing during the clothes during the cycling. So, so in this uh, cycling exercise, too, my bike perform better because uh, it consisted of some noise, and in presence of noise, uh, my bike performs better than high pass only system. Uh, for the next exercise, the author wanted to focus on high impact noises, so for that they chose jumping. And jumping worked on the quadriceps muscle. They generate high amount of initial noise from the ground impact of jump landing. For that, participants wore chest vest to increase resistance and to impact noise for quadriceps muscle activation. Landing was done in squatting fashion and held the position for about one second long so that the muscle would be activated. Uh, in this exper experiment, the authors chose to uh, experiment on a non-export filter SEMG so that to know that how it will have performed without the use of the professional physiotherapist. And upon evaluation, it was found that uh, of course the help of professional physiotherapist would matter because because without him the accuracy was found to be less than 65%. And the my again the my vibe was found out to perform uh, comparably and hugely better than the high pass only filter. So overall, the research paper was well structured and detailed, which I really like. It gave a uh, general relative knowledge of how algorithms worked. Uh, they explicitly mentioned uh, about its parameter value. They tried out different parameters value and other set of one like the value of K for K EVA. They used a professional to inspect the noises, which I think was really helpful for them. The group of participants was also diverse in terms of gender and age, although not much, but relatively. The exercise focused on every aspect like the isolation of the muscle, cyclic complex motion, body in these noises. They tried to make control experiment as much as possible because in that way uh, they could have been compared easily. Compared easily. The sensors were in case in epoxy to, epoxy to deal with sweat, control motion for each exercise with well defined time to rest for two. Uh, also, by vibe and, uh, and SEMG were time synchronized so that they would perform on act on same data at the same time. Uh, they also tried to control the false alarm rate as much as possible and calculated it through precision and recall, which I really like because I think that kind of metrics matter. Uh, but what I was resolved with was that uh, they used a few number of participants for the experiment. Six is a very few number. They did not consider upper body exercise at all. They did not mention how they trained the MyVab model, uh, the decision tree, like uh, how they separated the test training and testing data. Still, the use of SEMG for the ground truth is questionable. Uh, and also, not a single experiment was performed using my web system in wearable form. Because if you look at the picture previous, uh, that I presented previously, you can see that my web has a wearable form. And every experiment was performed by using uh, a cloth tape to wrap the sensors and I don't think it's a good idea for the for future. Uh, so uh, my discussion question is as follows. A lot of basketball and player by baseball players sustain injury on their shoulders. Authors so authors should have at least tested out some upper body exercise because the muscles are uh, may not be the same type and could have different amount of contraction so my wife could not have tested better in such exercise also old people could benefit from such device too so uh, they could have some different muscle vibration from young people uh, 45 years i don't think 45 years is uh, considerably uh, the bracket of old people so some people above 55 should also have been included into, into consideration and again, the exercise for them should have to be considered because they could not do the squatting with such weight. And my last question is that my five system is a wearable system. Uh, so they should have tested out with the whole outfit as a whole, not just wrapping the sensors with the cloth tape. Because in future, the people will, will be wearing the whole my system, uh, the whole outfit.
and the result or the experiment with that outfit could have shown a different result in my opinion uh, so that's that is all uh, i hope you enjoyed thank you